Hello, and welcome to today's episode of 5-Minute Mixing Tips. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can check your mix in mono in FL Studio. Why should you check your mix in mono? Basically, depending on the source that's playing back your audio, if anything were to ever be summed to mono, you could lose some of your instruments, sometimes entire pieces of your track. Um, this is more of an issue with older styles of mixing. In fact, sometimes when you're in a store, you might even notice you could hear an old classic rock song and only the vocals or some of the guitars are being heard. That's just because of the way that the stores have their audio split up to come out of the speakers and you can lose much of your song. Um, technically, it goes into phase cancellations and differences on the left and right channel. I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just going to show you how to check and make sure you're not losing anything when you go from stereo to mono in FL Studio. So when you open up your mixer track, if you didn't know, every single one of your mixers, uh, mixer channels, has a little button on the bottom that says stereo separation. In theory, you can turn it to separate your channels, basically making left and right feel much further apart and to make your track sound really wide. I don't advise using this. Um, it can make things sound really phasey, really weird, and uh, really muddy very quickly. You're better off to get that stereo separation with proper mixing techniques. You can see some videos that we've done about that to um, you know, give you some different tricks for widening your mix. But um, the cool thing about that little knob they give you is if you go in the other direction, it merges your channels. So all you have to do to check your mix in mono is to go to your master track, go all the way down to the bottom to your stereo separation knob, and if you crank it all the way right, you have 100% merged your channels and therefore made your mix mono. I'm going to go ahead and play back this track for you, and I'm going to switch from uh, normal down to 100% merged or mono and um, you can see how we uh, do lose the left and right depth but we don't lose any instruments in this particular mix. Check it out. And it's that easy, guys. Right down here, your stereo separation knob allows you to check your mix in mono. If you're using a different DAW, or if you don't want to use that knob, there are plugins you can get, but why go search for something extra when it's already built in? Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of 5-Minute Mixing Tips. I hope it was helpful to someone out there. Please feel free to leave a message in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything particular you'd like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know. Mm -hmm.